Look, not every movie is going to have you on the edge of your seat. After all, they can't all be Con Air. Put the bunny back in the box. Still, you'd think that if anyone's going to stay awake through the whole movie, it's the actors who star in them. But that's not always how it plays out. Whether out of boredom or sheer exhaustion, here are a few movie stars who've copped to dozing off during their own movies. Michael Shannon. There are a few actors working today who are as outspoken as Michael Shannon. Whether he's going on a political rant or trash-talking the entire movie industry, Shannon doesn't hesitate to say exactly how he feels. In the role of Zod, Shannon had one of the most crucial parts in Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice. And that's saying a lot, since his character was pretty much dead part of the time. But don't ask Shannon how the rest of the film turned out because he slept through the thing. Shannon told fans Dango that the first time he tried to watch the film, he got punched by the Sandman. I watched it once and I fell asleep. I was on an international flight and I was tired. Johnny Depp In 2015, Depp earned plenty of praise for his performance as legendary Boston crime boss Whitey Bulger in Black Mass. The drama went on to gross a respectable $62 million at the box office, which occurred shortly after its high-profile screening at the Venice International Film Festival. Depp was in attendance for that, or at least his physical form was. He later confessed on Jimmy Kimmel Live that he didn't make it all the way through the movie. I fell asleep in the movie. I fell asleep about 15 times. <laughs> and it was, my, my wife was kind of... It's not that he didn't like the movie, it's just that, as he explains, he has, quote, a problem watching films of any kind unless it's a documentary. One of the highest paid actors alive hates watching movies. Huh. Brenton Thwaites. Jeff Bridges tried to bring Lois Lowry's young adult dystopian classic, The Giver, to the big screen for more than two decades. And when he began the process in the mid-90s, he envisioned his father, Lloyd Bridges, in the title role. By the time the movie came out in 2014, though, Jeff Bridges himself was old enough to play The Giver. The role of Jonas, the young person who will save the world, went to Australian actor Brenton Thwaites. Despite the career-making potential of the part, Thwaites actually dozed off the first time he watched The Giver. He told Nova 106.9, They set up a screening with me and Jeff. I was so tired that I kept falling asleep during my own movie. Shia LaBeouf Performance art stunts have kind of become Shia LaBeouf's thing in recent years. Not too long ago, he decided to live alone in a cabin in Finland for a month, just because he's Shia LaBeouf. So back in December 2015, Shia LaBeouf famously held a film festival in his own honor at the Angelica Film Center in New York. Titled conveniently, Hashtag All My Movies, the film festival involved LaBeouf sitting in a movie theater and watching every movie he's ever starred in in reverse chronological order. That's about three days worth of films, so it's understandable that LaBeouf fell asleep at some point. When he did finally doze off, it was to Transformers Dark of the Moon. And he wasn't alone. Describing the event, he later said, During Transformers 2, they could feel when I sunk in my seat. That's not a performative thing. That's me going through some kind of crisis. And I'm not the only one. I remember right before I fell asleep, I looked next to me and the guy next to me was falling asleep. You can see it on the screenshot. We're both asleep and the guy behind us is asleep. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.